Good afternoon. Last spring, we were in the throes of putting together our fall millennial marketing campaign with our agency, IQ, out of Atlanta. One morning, we were printing out our strategy documents when our CEO came across the words savage and adulting together, and I think she thought we had gone over the deep end. I assured her that we had not dipped our toes into NSFW, not safe for work material, or other gates of darkness. Uh, but I think her reaction is something I believe we can all learn from. Many financial institutions do not fully comprehend what is at stake when you apply the same techniques, tone, and messaging that you're currently applying to Gen X and boomers to the three distinct segments of millennials. Thankfully, my boss trusted me, our agency and team, and our adulting campaign was a big success. So let's talk about what we did with adulting. First of all, we spoke to them in their language, on their terms, and we harnessed the power of a trending pop culture idea, adulting. And by OCCU acknowledging that the struggle is real, the brand showed empathy toward young adults. We also encouraged them and empowered them to take control of their finances. We also leveraged our own millennial staff, and this helped us fine tune our own campaign and helped us have the best outcomes. And our staff appreciated having the opportunity to weigh in. We created this event for college students in conjunction with the University of Oregon's Week of Welcome to celebrate adulting. So let's talk about how the day went. Our pre-roll video created from our game show content actually showed that adulting wasn't so bad after all. To get the word out, we promoted the video with a branded Snapchat filter. At our photo booth, students, and sometimes their parents, created animated GIFs while holding adulting signs and props. We had a dedicated microsite where you could rate your own adulting skills, and this also drove checking account signups. Students received OCCU adulting swag. And finally, we had an online monthly newsletter that uh, called Cha-Ching that was specific and had financial advice for this segment of millennials. So what were our results? We had 24,000 uh, Snapchat filter views within 36 hours, 905 engaged participants on site during the day. And this campaign drew hundreds and hundreds of checking accounts, but in combination with the many other millennial campaigns that we've done, OCCU has successfully been able to open up more than 10,000 new checking accounts in the past two years. We've had double-digit millennial growth, and millennials now account for our largest demographic segment of our credit union. So what is the big takeaway? The big takeaway is that there are enormous opportunities for marketers, particularly within the financial services industry, to support millennials along their journey toward adulthood. So our agency IQ, together with us, has cultivated an overview of ways to reach millennials um, that's worth paying attention to. Now, we utilized many of these tips as we created this concept along with many of our other campaigns. Number one, think beyond typical ways of advertising. Millennials... Um, are the most tech-savvy generation. So you need to assume that every claim, every headline will be well-researched within their own social networks. Number two, a great digital experience is critical. Um, millennials expect to interact with your brand using a variety of methods and techniques. So if you're not thinking about mobile, social apps, customer journey mapping, they will leave you for someone who is. Number three, Meet them where they are. Um, this is very critical. Understand uh, your audience and develop a strategy where they're spending their time. To be successful, you need to be proactive and go to where they are. Number four, provide experiences. Give this audience something to talk about. Uh, millennials are really drawn to marketing that promotes a lifestyle, not just product benefits. And number five, be human and empathetic. Um, millennials do understand that brands have to sell products and services, but they actually see right through slick marketing. So get to understand their issues and provide relevant solutions. Number six, 
provide guidance. Remember, millennials are entering stages of high cost life events and they're looking beyond uh, what their parents and friends can provide in terms of advice. Number seven, use video liberally. If there is one tactic worth investing in, it is video. Millennials spend 48% more time viewing video online than the average user uh, uh, of internet. So, uh, in entertaining educational quick content across your channels will go a long way. Eight, give them tools you ne they need to reach their goals. Um, millennials are interested in online budgeting tools, so consider those integrations and partnerships that will allow them to reach their goals that are, they're already using. Mint, level, digit, you need a budget. And number nine, use humor in your marketing. 80% of millennials claim they are more likely to remember an ad if it's funny. So make sure your content is engaging and funny. Otherwise, if it's not valuable, they're gonna leave and they won't come back. And finally, number 10, uh, make sure that you incentivize reviews. This generation reads reviews, but they're likely not going to leave one unless you incentivize. So finally, this is the most important thing. You can help a generation shift their financial lives. And more importantly, you can help your organization um, in making those shifts. Um, creative strategic marketing. The shift in wealth is happening, we know that. 75% um, of the global workforce will be Millennials, by 2025, they will have $3.39 trillion in spending power by 2018, according to the Fed. It's no longer a trend, marketing to millennials. It is a must. So feel free to connect with me. I would be happy to um, connect with you. And just remember, marketing to millennials may seem like a struggle, but I want you to think about the impact that each of you can make. Thank you.